Hi, it's Björn again. It's been a while since I posted any new videos here on the channel. The reason is that I haven't gone on any long bike rides or hiking this summer in 2024. Instead, I've been busy working all summer. The work has been fun, but it kept me from going outside, at least for an extended periods. What I have done, though, is to spend time planning next summer's tour. In 2025, I'm going on a long bike ride again. This time, all the way up to Dalarna in central Sweden. Right now, it's mid-September 2024, so there are almost 300 days left until I set off. Plenty of time for, to plan. What you are seeing here is my collection on Komoot related to this trip. Komoot is the tool I use to plan all my trips. I set the start and the end point at home in Malmö with two stops in Dalarna, the Sorn Museum and Sundborn. These are significant cultural stops, as Anders Sorn and Carl Larsson were two of Sweden's most famous artists around 1900. Dalarna as a region holds great historical significance too, especially if you're from central Sweden. Now, I grew up in Skåne, which is the southernmost part of Sweden. Uh, and Skåne has its own unique history, but I'll tell you more about that another time when I'm biking around Skåne. The cover image for the collection, by the way, is a watercolor by Carl Larsson depicting Sandboy. Sandborn, his and his wife Karin's home, which has become a symbol of Swedish culture and Swedish ideals of living. There are many other things to see in Dalarna, and I'm gathering interesting sites and places to visit along the way. That's one reason I'm planning so far in advance, and the other one is, of course, I love planning. It's so fun to dream over maps. This trip will be as long as the one I did in 2023, when I cycled from Malmö to Stockholm, then on to Gothenburg and back to Malmö again. That ride and this one was about 2,000 kilometers, which is about 1,200 miles. This time I'll be biking up along the west coast. Last time I went the east coast up. Uh, so up the west coast through Halmstad, heading inland and up to Dalarna. I'm avoiding big cities this time because, as I learned during my latest trip, cities offers a very different experience compared to the Swedish countryside. I've also given myself more time for this ride. In 2023, I had 21 days, including a rest day in Stockholm. This time, I'm planning 25 days without any rest days. I'm aiming to bike about 80 kilometers a day or 50 miles a day. It's a relaxed pace for me. That gives me time for breaks, sightseeing, and excursions of the planned trip. Another goal for this trip is to do more wild camping. I plan to camp outside official campsites for about six or seven nights. While hostels and campgrounds are comfortable, I like a shower as much as anyone else, I want to practice being more self-sufficient this time. As always, the goal of the trip is to enjoy the ride itself and to discover new places along the way. But it's also nice to have a clear destination, and in this case it is Dalarna. One challenge for me is that I need to take medication every 14 days, and that medication has to be kept cold. During my last trip, I solved this by getting the medicine in a pharmacy along the way. I'll be doing the same thing this year, but now I also need to carry a first dose on the first few days of the trip. It's a very specific and quite expensive medication, so I do have to plan for it. My plan is still not fully finalized, and who knows, I might change everything before I leave. I'll post a link to my commute planning in the description, so you can check it out yourselves. It's very public. I'm really looking forward to getting back on the road again. I hope you have enjoyed hearing about my plans for the next summer's adventure. There's nothing quite like the biking, the thrill of open road, the serenity of the Swedish countryside, and the joy of discovery around every corner.
I'll be sharing more details as I continue to prepare, and of course I'll take you along the journey when time comes. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and I'll see you out there soon.